preventive diplomacy is not an option, it is a necessity. When I took office over almost five years ago, it was clear to me that we needed to raise our ability to act early and preventively against the emerging threats to an entirely new level. Uh, building on the ideas and accomplishments of my predecessors, I saw significant untapped potential for what we could help achieve through preventive diplomacy. We have sought to reinforce our missions abroad, uh, strengthen our envoys and their teams, improve our expertise, deepen our partnerships, and reshape the Department of Political Affairs to make this vision a reality. The pace, intensity, and increasing professionalization of our preventive efforts are beginning to pay off. We have used the diplomacy to ensure a peaceful referendum in Sudan, a democratic transition in Guinea, and an end to the violence in Kenya and Kyrgyzstan. For so long, the international community has accorded little attention to mediation and to preventive diplomacy. We have placed far too much emphasis on resources on the military dimensions of peace and security without addressing the root causes of conflict. There is no doubt that in the recent period, the United Nations and the Security Council in particular has recognized the crucial importance of preventive diplomacy. Conflict prevention is one of the chief obligations set forth in the Charter of the United Nations. It is the most efficient and cost-effective way of promoting international peace and security. Effective conflict prevention can avoid loss of life, population displacements, and economic chaos. We must intensify our work to build up the UN's capacity for preventative diplomacy. This means greater cooperation between UN agencies to identify threats and regular attention by the Security Council on countries at risk. We support the UN's increasing use of mediation specialists and special envoys, and we welcome the Secretary General's call to increase the number of senior female mediators in line with Resolution 1325. The United States continues to support strongly the robust use of the Secretary General's good offices and special political missions to avert war. We strongly support efforts to build and strengthen the cadre of seasoned envoys. We welcome the UN's recent efforts to work together with regional envoys and independent mediators when helpful. It is a fact that preventive diplomacy initiatives are more cost effective than the deployment of peacekeepers once a conflict has broken out. Thus, for preventive diplomacy to be an effective tool at our disposal, to succeed, it requires a sustained injection of resources.